Proverbs 8 verses 1 to 36 doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She creeth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, there is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom, I am understanding, I have strength. By me kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there, when he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him, as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Opening Sentence Proverbs 8 verse 1 Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice. Yes, she does. Wisdom gave a very short speech in Proverbs 1 verses 22 to 33, when she stood in the chief place of concourse in the city. In chapter 8, she is located at the entry of the gates of the city of Jerusalem. Proverbs 8 verses 2 to 3 She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She creeth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. The city of Jerusalem has seven mountains, or high places, Revelation 17 verse 9. Solomon built God's temple on Mount Moriah, 2 Chronicles 3 verse 1. And on the other high places he built pagan altars, 1 Kings 11 verses 7 to 8. During King Solomon's reign, there existed a physical reality of the spiritual truths being taught in the book of Proverbs. Two choices were before the children of Israel upon entering the city of Jerusalem. After the kingdom fell into idolatry, God sent prophets to cry aloud in the city of Jerusalem to instruct the children of Israel to repent and choose the right path. Jeremiah went to Jerusalem for ten years to speak God's word to the city. Jeremiah 25 verse 3 Under the influence of Satan, the strange woman also cried out through the mouths of Israel's false prophets to seduce the children to come into her house. 
and worship her false gods. Jeremiah 29 verse 9. Finding the theme, Wisdom's Instructions. Proverbs 8 verses 4 to 11 unto you. O men I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, there is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. In Proverbs chapter 8, wisdom cries out for the simple to have an understanding heart. Her words are excellent, right and true. Wisdom does not speak the fair and flattering words of the strange woman. Her words are plain. Like he virtuous woman of Proverbs 31, her price is far above rubies. She excels all. Getting to know wisdom. Proverbs 8 verse 12, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Prudence is defined as wisdom applied to practice. In order for wisdom to be properly applied, the heart must first be convinced. Psalm 90 verse 12, So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Proverbs 18 verse 15, The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. Wisdom's knowledge of witty inventions does not pertain to the wisdom of the world. She only boasts about the knowledge of God because she knows that worldly wisdom is foolishness. Jeremiah 9 verses 23 to 24 Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 19 For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Wisdom requires hatred. Proverbs 8 verse 13 The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth. Do I hate? It is true that God is love but God is much more than love. The God of the Bible hates evil and those who commit evil deeds. Proverbs 6 verse 16 These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Psalm 11 verse 5 The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Wisdom requires judgment. Proverbs 8 verses 14 to 17 Counsel is mine and sound wisdom, I am understanding, I have strength. By me kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Wisdom loves those who love her. She expresses her love through counsel and righteous judgment. Believers are to do the same. Philippians 1 verse 9, And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. The Riches of Wisdom Proverbs 8 verses 18 to 21 Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. Wisdom possesses eternal riches that she freely bestows upon those who love her, and like the good shepherd, she leads in the way of righteousness. Psalm 23 verse 3, He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Wisdom's role in creation. In Proverbs chapter 3, wisdom's role in creation was introduced. Proverbs 3 verses 19 to 20 The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. By understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, 
and the clouds drop down the dew. In chapter 8, a detailed description of wisdom's intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ before the foundation of the world is given. Proverbs 8 verses 22 to 31 The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth. When he established the clouds above. When he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him, as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Wisdom and God are intimately connected. She dwelt with him long before he spoke the physical world into existence. She was with him during the planning stage as noted by the words prepared and appointed. God created the world and all that is therein by speaking his words of wisdom. Wisdom's claim to being brought up with the Lord portrays her in the role of a sister. God gave instructions to his son in chapter 7 to call wisdom his sister. Proverbs 7 verse 4 say unto wisdom, Thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. Conclusion Wisdom gives a final call and a final warning to ye children. This is the last time the children of Israel are addressed in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 8 verses 32 to 36 Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, all they that hate me love death. Summary Wisdom stands on the high places near the gates of Jerusalem calling out to the children as they enter the city. She practically begs them to hear and believe her words so they may obtain eternal life. She boasts about the purity of her words and their value above all riches. She teaches them that she is from everlasting, older than the heaven and earth. Her final call is for the children to hear, watch for her, and wait for her so they may obtain favor from the Lord. Dispensational Consideration over 1,000 years after the book of Proverbs was written, Jesus gave the Apostle Paul wisdom that had been kept secret since the world began. This wisdom is called the Revelation of the Mystery, Romans 16 verse 25, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 7, Ephesians 1 verse 9, 3 colon 3 12. The Apostle Paul writes the following, Consider what I say, and the Lord give the understanding in all things. 2 Timothy 2 verse 7 The Apostle Paul wrote 13 epistles, Romans through Philemon. God's wisdom for this dispensation is preserved in the doctrine found in Paul's writings. The Apostle Paul tells the lost how to be freely justified by trusting in Jesus' blood which he shed on the cross. As the only acceptable payment for sins, Romans 3 verse 24 Paul tells believers that they are no longer under the law. Romans 6 verse 14, and that they are now members of Jesus' body. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12. Paul's doctrine teaches the believer how to grow up and mature in the Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 4 verse 15. And only Paul teaches that this dispensation will end with the rapture of the body of Christ to meet the Lord in the air. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17. Those who trust in the death. Burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ as the only means for salvation are secure in Christ and have already obtained favor of the Lord. Life Application The wisdom of God is made known to the entire world through the words of God which have been preserved in the Holy Bible. Everyone has access to the wisdom of God, but not everyone will receive the wisdom of God. 
In order for the wisdom of God to work effectually, it must be read, understood, and believed. Proverbs 9 verse 5 Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. And in chapter 9, both wisdom and the strange woman invite the children to eat of their bread. Proverbs chapter 8 Homework Read Revelation 17 verse 9, and tis surrounding context teach the wisdom of the seven mountains of Jerusalem. Concordance Search Find the words prophesy and false as used together in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was sent by God to speak his word to Jerusalem, and false prophets were among the people speaking lies. Examples of plain speech. Both Jesus and Paul reference plain speech. Study these verses in context to understand their meaning. John 16 verse 25 These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall shew you plainly of the Father. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 12 Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. Concordance search, find and study references to the words prudence and prudent. Prudent is found 24 times in the King James Bible. 12 are in the book of Proverbs. Find all 12 references in Proverbs and make a list of the character traits of a prudent person. Exercise. Look up the following references to find out who God is. Deuteronomy 4, 31, 2 Chronicles 30, 9, Job 36, 5, Psalms 7, 11, Psalms 50, 6, Daniel 9, 14, John 3, 33, John 4, 24, 1 Corinthians 1, 9, Hebrews 12, 29, 1 John 1, verses 5 and 1 John 4, verse 8. Concordance search. Find every reference to the word inventions. Note that each reference is used in a negative manner except in the book of Proverbs regarding wisdom. Wisdom of the world. Study the following references to learn the truth about the wisdom of the world. 1 Corinthians 1 verses 20 to 21. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 6 to 8. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 19 and James 3 verses 13 to 18. Wisdom's Role in Creation Jeremiah spoke of the Lord's wisdom in creation. Use a King James Bible. Jeremiah 10 verse 12 He hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom, and hath stretched out the heavens by his discretion. Jeremiah 51 colon 15 He hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom, and hath stretched out the heaven by his understanding. Compare, contrast wisdom in chapter 8 with the virtuous woman of chapter 31. Use a King James Bible. Proverbs 8 verse 6 here. For I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. Proverbs 31 colon 26. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Proverbs 31 colon 29. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Proverbs 8.11 For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Proverbs 31 verse 10 Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. And Proverbs 8.14 Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom, I am understanding. I have strength. And Proverbs 31.17 She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengtheneth her arms. Proverbs 31, 25, Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come.